What's going on guys? Back out here at Ski Beach, San Diego Mission Bay. And I'm talking about FPV today. So I'm going to cover a few things that I picked up for this quad. And um, you're looking at one of them right here. This is the uh, Hobby King sells this little cable. I believe a few other places sell this cable, but it's extremely flexible. It's the video out cable. And um, the one that comes with the Mobius is pretty bad uh, if you're going to use it for a gimbal. Okay, so as you can see here, this one is has no protective has no protective cover on it, so it allows very easy operation and rotation of the gimbal. Unlike the one that came with the Mobius. So if you remember, if you've seen my other videos uh, where I talked about the cable that's coming out the back, the issue is that. Um, when you plug it in back here, it kind of it sticks way out here, the, the black thick protective covering on that. And um, when you rotate the gimbal downward, like that, uh, that cable wants to hit the bottom plate of the quad. And, um, and then it causes the, uh, the gimbal to just kind of shake like that because it can't, it can't hold its position. Not too good. You get ter terrible video quality when this happens. And... Uh, it was time for a change. God damn, I swear every time I try to make a video, these people come over here and... I could hear everything this lady's talking about. She's talking about how some guy in the Navy is trying to marry her for no damn reason. Probably for financial reasons, if you guys know how that shit goes. Anyway, so the other piece of the uh, FPV equipment that I have here is... Uh, so this monitor. This is... This is a um, no blue screen monitor. I got this on eBay, and if you check right now, there's probably gonna be some around the $80 range, maybe more expensive, but I actually got this one for about 35 or 40 bucks or so. Came from China. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna see exact uh, one I got here. As you can see, the uh, protective film is still on there. And, um, I haven't really flown with it yet because this is the I'm out here at Ski Beach and this is the the first time that I'm actually using this. But um, I have it set up the same way as my uh, do-it-yourself goggles that I had before. They actually sold, and then I bought these. And uh, so the monitor does not come with this sunshade thing. I also bought that separately on eBay. And if we turn this thing around the back. Uh, that's pretty much how it looks. Have it connected uh, similarly to uh, you know how uh, my other goggles were. And, um, but the screen quality looks pretty decent. Um, you can go through the menu here. There's uh, some options for brightness, contrast, color, tint, and uh, you can change the zoom. Okay, and then you can actually rotate the screen, flip it. You can flip it upside down. Okay, so pretty cool. Um, it fits perfectly, absolutely perfectly on the FPV monitor stand arm thing that you have for the Turner G 9XR transmitter. Absolutely fits just perfectly. Okay, I'll tilt this back here. Fits right into that screw. Um, no problems at all. It was like this monitor was made for this mount. And um, the other thing that I did for uh, FPV related stuff on this quad is to adjust uh, the gimbal settings. Now, um, so what I had to do is lessen the power on the gimbal because it was overcompensating for this cable. Now when I had the other cable on here, it was heavier, it was thicker, it was causing more, resist more resistance on the gimbal, and um, so I had to make changes. And so right now it's, you know, it's, it's performing pretty softly, real light, but, but strong enough to hold the camera in place. It's really all you wanna do. Uh, don't give it too much power or else the gimbal tries to, uh, you know, just overpower the balancing and it, and it starts shaking like this it starts to overcorrect itself um, you know you want it as soft as possible you don't want to use use too much power um, if you feel like the motors are getting hot just sitting here doing nothing 
that's bad. That means you have your settings all wrong. So, um, so I had to tune the settings uh, with this gimbal to um, uh, once I put this new cable on here. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one.